G'day viewers, Dave Lonigan, Arctic Film Productions. Uh, Pacific region islands, very heavily impacted by sea level rise in the coming years and right now as uh, time progresses and we have an increase in sea level rise due to greenhouse gases, this region across the Pacific here is going to be very heavily impacted by climatic change and by sea level rise. You've got Solomon Islands, uh, Vanuatu, Fiji, Tonga, Marshall Islands, uh, Micronesia, Papua New Guinea. All those areas are in the tropics, basically. So what's actually going to happen is that as you increase the air temperature through climate change, through greenhouse gas emissions, you also inadvertently increase the temperature of the ocean. Now what happens to salt water when you warm it up? When you heat salt water, it expands, so it pushes into the land. Now, the Solomon Islands is of particular interest because it's a bit of a window into what's gonna to happen to a lot of us over the coming years. Now the Solomons is situated uh, right here, so it's in the Southwest Pacific Ocean. It's about 2,000 kilometres off the northeast coast of Australia. It's got a combined land mass of 28,000 square kilometres. Now, that comprises of six major islands and over 900 smaller islands. Now, 147 of those smaller islands are inhabited. They've got a population of 723,000 people in the Solomons. Now, 60% of those people in these Solomon Islands live in communities of less than 200 people. Now they're going to be hugely impacted, well they are already, by uh, climatic change, sea level rise, greenhouse gas emissions. The sea level rise of the Solomons is three times higher than anywhere else on Earth. Now they've endured, in the last 20 years, 18 centimetre sea level rise. Now that is solely due to fossil fuel burning which we're using as primary energy resource around the planet. But these people aren't using it, right? They're being affected by uh, greenhouse gas emissions from other nations. Now, these are traditionally family-based communities in these regions, and what happens to these low-lying islands when they're inundated with salt water, the land becomes unusable. A lot of their farming land in the smaller communities is in these delta flats, and they're they're only you know, uh, half a metre, a metre above sea level. So you can imagine their, uh, their water source gets inundated with salt water. So you get salt water um, inundation into their drinking water and then they can't use that for irrigation for their crops. So you know, where do they go? Do you relocate them to some of the bigger islands in the Solomons where there's already communities living? And what's gonna happen to those people you know, where you keep moving these communities around? They say, well, we're already living here. But what happens is they put them in these settlements on the outskirts of some of the larger towns. It's not an area they're familiar with, and it's usually land that's basically unusable. And in quite a few occasions, those settlements where they've taken people from these uh, smaller islands in onto the bigger mainland islands, um, they're low-lying areas, and then you get the same problem. They're getting you know, impacted by sea level rise yet again. Uh, an example is Henter Island. 50% of that island has disappeared in the last 18 years. Now, another, another particular interesting region, which is right at the, at the forefront of what's happening on this planet, is the Seaweed Islands. 20 to 30 of those islands are now being um, inundated with seawater, and they, they think they'll be gone in five to 10 years. Now, these are a proud people. Um, they're in family groups, small communities are being directly affected now by sea level rise. Their homes are being, are being washed out, their beaches are disappearing from a 100 metre beach to a 15 metre beach. And of course, we're at the houses, the houses are on the land, so the water's coming into their own homes. It's a pretty scary scenario if you live there. Um, and it's a window for us to look into what's going to happen in the future, uh, not just in the Pacific Island regions, but all around the planet. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned, as you are.